Tragic waste of paper. I can't believe you just said that. Well, it's true. The Beats writing was completely self-indulgent. I have one word for Jack Kerouac. Edit. It was not self-indulgent. The Beats believed in shocking people, stirring things up. They believed in drugs, booze, and petty crime. Well, then you could say that they exposed you to a world that you wouldn't have otherwise known. Isn't that what great writing's all about? That was not great writing. That was the National Enquirer of the 50s. You're cracked. Typical guy response. Worship Kerouac and Bukowski. God forbid you'd pick up anything by Jane Austen. Hey, I've read Jane Austen. You have? Yeah, and I think she would have liked Bukowski. What are you doing? Salt and pepper dip. Only way to eat a fry. Really? It's fast food gospel. Oh, that's good. That's really, really good. You like hot sauce? I don't know. Should I? I think it's wise. Hello? Hey. Oh, hey. Where are you? On my way to see you, if that's OK. Oh, well. I know you want to be alone, so I'll only stay a minute. I just want to say hi. We just said hi. Well, I want to say hi a little closer. But I'm a mess, really. It's not pretty. You won't recognize me. Well, then put a name tag on, because I miss you. I miss you, too, but. But what? But Paris is here. Why? She freaked out about a grade, and she wanted to go over some notes, and you know Paris, she will not be denied. OK, then I'm not really ruining your alone night. Someone else did that. Yes, but. I'll see you in a sec. Can't get into poetry. It's kind of like, geez, just say it already. We're dying here. Wow, you know, I just noticed the time, and it's getting really late. It's 7 o'clock. I know, but Paris and I still have a lot more studying to do. Jess, please thank Luke for me. It was really nice of him. Who was that on the phone? No one. No one wouldn't happen to be heading over here right now, would he? Jess, what's going on? Nothing. Dean's on his way over, and Rory doesn't want him to find me here. Why? Yeah, why? You know why. We're just eating dinner. Jess, I'm asking you as a friend. Just please leave now. You really want me to go? I really want to avoid a fight with Dean. OK, I'm going. Thank you. Ow. What? Oh. I just twisted my ankle. I better go lay down. Jess. God, you're no fun when you're tense. Are you sure you want me to go? Because maybe this whole thing can be solved between me and Dean if we just sat down, had a little heart to heart. He could tell me his issues. I'll tell him mine. Jess. I promise I'll speak slowly. Bye. OK, well, give him my best, would you? Actually, I guess I could do that myself. Dean, Jess just came by to bring me some food. From Luke's? He wanted to make sure I ate. Luke did. Right, Luke did. Personally, I could care less if she eats. Yeah, true. He could care less. I see you brought a little something, too. Is that ice cream? That's so nice. A tiny little ice cream pack is just big enough for two. Hey, are you guys going to feed each other? Because that's just so darn cute. Oops, you're doing that towering over me thing, huh? I tell you, you've really got that down. It helps that you're 12 feet tall, but this Frankenstein scale really adds to the whole. Yes. OK, I'm going. Look, man, I, I really was just dropping off some food, so don't get all West Side Story on me, OK? So do you want to come in 